So hi, welcome to Anchor Reviews on episode of After the Credits on Anchor Reviews. This is Tyler from Anchor Reviews, and this is my review on Renfield. So you probably know that if you've been watching my channel for a long time now, or at least long enough, that you know that I'm a diehard fan of the Universal Monster movies. I've worth that on my sleeve, basically. And the thing is, I've been looking forward to this movie for a long time. It's very significant because the Universal Monster movies are turning 100 years old this year, and also we're going to get another Dracula movie by Universal, which is The Last Voyage of the Demeanor, so I feel pretty spoiled right now. And that's ironic because the trailer for that movie just dropped today, and also played during the as part of the previews for this movie but anyway so Renfield is a horror comedy that stars Nicholas Holt as the title character of the movie who's been serving Dracula played by Nicholas Cage for a long time now and he feels the courage now to stand up to his boss after going to various help meetings and also be inspired by the heroics of a police officer named Officer Rebecca Quincy, played by Aquafina. And this movie is fairly enjoyable, and the thing is that it's kind of ironic that Nicolas Cage is playing a vampire because he's been rumored to be one, at least from a photo from the 1800s, of someone who looked like him. And also I recently watched him in that Vampire's Kiss movie, which if you haven't watched it, just go watch it. It is hilariously awkward to watch especially just for Nicolas Cage his performance in that movie is just I I was laughing pretty hard in certain moments where I'm like okay this is where the meme comes from and just how I gotta commend him for being an actor for that movie and also for this one too because Nicolas Cage easily seals the show anytime he's in this movie and the thing is that there are moments of his mannerisms and the way he talks where it just reminded me of how much you can tell that Glenn Close as Krill DeVille in 101 Dalmatians was enjoying her part in that movie. And I can definitely tell that Nicolas Cage was enjoying his time as Dracula in this movie. And I gotta say too that Nicholas Holt is easily really good in this movie too. I really liked his mannerisms and also how he carried himself in this movie. And the character of Renfield definitely goes back to, of course, the original novel by Bram Stoker, and he was played brilliantly by Dwight Fry in the 1931 classic Dracula with Bela Lugosi, and I just love that monologue that Renfield has with the rats, That's that was amazing, it's just an iconic moment, I love that part. However, I can't say the same for their co-star of the movie, which is Aquafina as the police officer character. Now, Quincy Morris does originate from the novel by Bram Stoker, however in this version they do race swap and gender swap the character, and I gotta say... Aquafina was miscast in this movie. Now, I know she was cast in the movie because of her comical background, and yeah, she's funny at times in this movie. However, I just wasn't really feeling it with her character. I just felt like she just showed up to the movie, and I didn't feel like, oh, she was a police officer. Like, the way she carries herself, like, the way she walks in that, like, her mannerisms, it didn't really feel like a police officer. It just felt like, oh, hi, I'm a an actor playing a police officer in a comedy movie. It wasn't like Aldous Hodge in the Invisible Man movie, another Universal Monster movie, of course, where I felt like he was a police officer. And I know that movie is a serious movie. I get that. But the thing is, your char this character that she's playing didn't really feel like she got into that role. And the other issue, too, related to, to her character is that I didn't feel the chemistry between her and Nicholas Holt in this movie. It wasn't like Dracula Untold, yet another Universal monster movie, I might add, was that with that movie, I felt the chemistry between Luke Evans and Sarah Gadden every time they were on screen. However, in this movie, it just felt like two actors working in a movie. It wasn't like, oh yeah, there was some kind of connection between the two or any kind of on-screen like chemistry with them or connection. They just felt like actors who were hired for a movie to be in a movie. But speaking of Dracula Untold, so this movie I could tell they relied more on practical effects and not just visual effects, but there were a few times where I could tell where the visual effects at times were the frame rate was kind of off, or it felt like, yeah, that could have been polished better compared to Dracula Untold's visual effects that were much better. The editing for this movie is kind of awkward because of the fact that sometimes you'll have weird continuity errors with people's, like, facial expressions or various kind of, like, positions of their bodies very different in certain shots. I think that part of that was just because the way of certain scenes that were in the trailer that were not in here. And speaking of that, there's a moment that was definitely featured in the trailers where a Catholic priest of some kind is blown up and I remember seeing an article saying that Renfield blows up the Pope and even the director went on social media was like we didn't go that far but 
then again, I wouldn't mind the real Pope getting blown up and that demonic snake room of his, but I digress. The thing is, with this movie, I, again, I enjoyed Renfield. It's, yeah, there's funny moments here and there, but at the same time, I felt like some of the, you know, chemistry with some of the characters could have been better. There could have been some better acting and some better editing and effects, but overall, I enjoyed Renfield, especially from both Nicolas Cage and Nicholas Holt, and yeah, it's a fun time enjoying it, but there are some things about this movie that could have been better. Either the editing could have been better, the effects works could have been better, and yeah, some of the acting and chemistry could have been better. I just felt like Aquafina's acting could have been better, and she could have prepped better for playing a police officer, and it just felt like her chemistry could have been improved upon with Nicholas Holt if they would have spent more time doing that. So overall, I would say Renfield it's enjoyable, but yeah, I just felt like it was mildly disappointed with this movie, so overall, as for Renfield, I would give it about two and a half stars out of four. So anyway, this is Tyler from End Credit Reviews, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of After the Credits on End Credit Reviews, and I hope to make a lot more in the future. Please like and subscribe.